Another important exercise for knee stability and knee strength is a squat. A lot of people find squats will hurt their knees because they're doing them wrong. The key is to keep the weight back into the heel and the midfoot and not let the toes, not let the knees drop over the toes, which is going to put more strain on the knees and the quads. So obviously a lot of people, if you ask them to squat without a seat or anything behind them, they'll tend to dip the knees forward, heels might lift, and again you've got a lot of stress across the knees. What we're aiming for here is to sit back with the hips so the weight stays pretty much in the heels. You should be able to wiggle the toes as you squat. Obviously pick a, a, a distance with the feet that's comfortable, too close and you're not going to be able to sit very far, too wide and it's not quite the exercise we're aiming for. So a little bit wider than shoulder width should be fine. And again all you're trying to do is keep the back straight, tuck the pelvis, or not tuck the pelvis, arch the pelvis out, sit back, Again, you should still be able to wiggle the toes. Again, engage the glutes, so don't let the knees drop in. Pull the knees wide and pull yourself down into the squat. And again, to come back up, you're going to engage the glutes, push through the heels, stomach tight, push the hips forward. So again, from the front, feet just wider than shoulder width or wherever is comfortable. You're going to sit down and back, keeping the chest up, and push through the heels to stand up. Now, if you're... If you're limited by your ankle mobility or your hip mobility, you don't need to sit all the way down. Sit as low as you can, but keep the weight into the heels. If you find you go any lower, the heels start to lift or the knees drop in or your back rounds, and that's too far. Just take it to the point where you can control the movement, push through the heels, squeeze the backside, stomach tight, stand up nice and tall.